As part of Governor Hogan's transformative Baltimore Link plan, we're working on getting people to jobs. And one of the ways to get people to jobs is not just regular transit in Baltimore City, but also helping people get to jobs that are in Baltimore City and helping people that are in Baltimore City get the jobs that are outside of the city. So tonight we're here in Queen Anne's County and we're talking about one of those routes to do just that. Two new commuter bus routes we're planning to bring to Queen Anne's County to the Annapolis area. One of the routes, which will start hopefully in March of this year, this coming year, will go from Ken Island, from the Ken Island Park and Ride lot, over to Annapolis, downtown, to the mall, and then right up into Baltimore City, where there'll be multiple stops through the city. And there'll be several of them in the morning and several of them in the afternoon. And then we're also going to do something called a reverse commute route, which is taking people from Baltimore City to jobs outside of the city. We'll be bringing them down to Annapolis. So this is some an exciting new program introduced by Governor Hogan to help really transform the region by making sure people have access to jobs. That's what Baltimore Link is about and it's helping people right here in Queen Anne's County. We, as you know, we have current routes that go from the Ken Island Park and Ride into Washington, D.C. This will be something brand new. It'll be going from Ken Island to Annapolis and then to Baltimore City. We hope to see you on our bus this coming March right here on Ken Island. We have chosen a couple locations here on Ken Island. Uh, the service will also serve stops in Annapolis en route to Baltimore City in the morning. And we're also um, proposing to have return work-based trips returning back to Annapolis each afternoon and coming also back over to Ken Island. Um, we, we're, we've chosen and again proposed some of these stops where we have parking rail lots and free parking for customers to use the service. The Areas in Baltimore City that we're proposing to serve is as the buses come in Baltimore and, and Russell Street, they're going to come up and they're going to, to um, make a couple of stops until they get to Baltimore and then we're going to continue all the way out to John Hopkins Hospital. That's the plan to make stops along the way. And uh, each morning there's going to be five trips in total coming into Baltimore. Three of them uh, initiate in the Ken Island area and two additional ones start up in Annapolis for a total of five trips coming in. And then again, each afternoon there's a return route. It's very similar. Some one way streets that we're going to operate on going out Lombard Street, making all opposite stops that we dropped off in the morning. Again, going to return down Route 97 towards Annapolis. We're going to make the same additional stops we made in the morning, continue over the Bay Bridge and, and come over to the two stops at Ken Island. The The route itself that we're proposing, again, it's a total of five trips in the morning and six through 10 additional five trips returning back. The span of service starts at 525 in the morning here on Kent Island and the last trip leaving for Baltimore in the morning at 725. If you'll notice, there's three options here that both make the Kent Island stops. There's two that start up in Annapolis and then all five trips make stops over at the mall and then continue into Baltimore. Here's the stops, the times, and then the PM return service is here, leaving Baltimore City, going back to Annapolis, and then over to Kent Island. And that's our service that we're proposing. The, the rates, the fares that we are proposing to charge, it's $6 from Kent Island, one-way fare up to Baltimore. From Annapolis, it's $5 going up to Baltimore. And again, the same rates apply on the return trip in the afternoon. And that's our proposal.